Ahab was a significant figure in ancient Israel's history, known for his reign as the seventh king of the northern kingdom of Israel. His story is detailed in the Hebrew scriptures, particularly in the books of 1 Kings and 2 Chronicles. Background and Reign Family Lineage Ahab was the son of King Omri, who established a powerful dynasty in Israel. Omri's reign set the stage for Ahab's future actions and policies. Duration of Reign Ahab ruled for 22 years during the 9th century BCE, circa 874 to 853 BCE. Capital. He reigned from Samaria, the capital city established by his father. Marriage to Jezebel and idolatry. Alliance through marriage. Ahab married Jezebel, the daughter of Ethbal, king of the Sidonians, Phoenicians. This marriage was politically motivated to strengthen alliances but had spiritual ramifications. Introduction of Baal worship. Jezebel was a devout worshipper of Baal, a Canaanite deity. Under her influence, Ahab promoted Baal worship in Israel. Construction of idolatrous sites. He built a temple and an altar for Baal in Samaria and made a sacred pole, Asherah, further entrenching idolatry among the Israelites. Conflict with Prophet Elijah. Divine confrontation. Jehovah God raised the Prophet Elijah to confront Ahab's apostasy. Proclamation of drought. Elijah declared a severe drought as divine punishment for Israel's idolatry which lasted three and a half years. 1 Kings chapter 17 verse 1. Mount Carmel Contest. In a dramatic showdown on Mount Carmel, Elijah challenged the prophets of Baal to demonstrate the power of their deity. Jehovah responded to Elijah's prayer with fire from heaven, proving his sovereignty. 1 Kings chapter 18 verses 20 to 40. Aftermath. The people recognized Jehovah as the true God, and the false prophets were executed but Ahab and Jezebel continued in their rebellious ways. Naboth's Vineyard Incident Coveting Naboth's Vineyard Ahab desired the vineyard of Naboth, which was adjacent to his palace in Jezreel. Naboth's Refusal Naboth refused to sell or trade his ancestral inheritance, adhering to the Mosaic Law. Leviticus chapter 25 verses 23 to 28 Jezebel's Scheme Jezebel orchestrated a plot falsely accusing Naboth of blasphemy, leading to his execution by stoning. 1 Kings chapter 21 verses 1 to 16. Divine judgment pronounced. Elijah confronted Ahab, pronouncing Jehovah's judgment. That disaster would befall Ahab's house, and dogs would lick up his blood. 1 Kings chapter 21 verses 17 to 24. Ahab's military campaigns. Wars with Syria. Ahab engaged in multiple conflicts with Ben-Hadad II, king of Syria. Victory and disobedience. Despite Jehovah granting victory, Ahab disobeyed God's command by sparing Ben-Hadad, leading to further prophetic condemnation. 1 Kings chapter 20. Battle of Ramoth Gilead. Ignoring prophetic warnings, Ahab allied with Jehoshaphat, king of Judah, to retake Ramoth Gilead from the Syrians. Death and fulfillment of prophecy. Deceptive tactics. Ahab attempted to avoid prophecy by disguising himself in battle. Mortal wound. He was struck by a randomly shot arrow between the joints of his armor. Demise. Ahab died in his chariot, and his blood was washed out at the pool of Samaria, where dogs licked it up, fulfilling Elijah's prophecy. 1 Kings chapter 22 verses 29 to 38. Legacy and spiritual lessons. Evil reputation. Ahab is noted for doing more evil than all the kings before him. 1 Kings chapter 16 verse 30. Impact of ungodly associations. His marriage to Jezebel exemplifies the corrupting influence of close ties with those who do not share devotion to Jehovah. Consequences of idolatry. Ahab's promotion of false worship led to national calamity and divine judgment. Jehovah's mercy. Upon hearing the judgment against him. Ahab showed a measure of repentance by humbling himself, resulting in Jehovah delaying the calamity during his lifetime. 1 Kings chapter 21 verses 27 to 29. Warning example. Jehovah's Witnesses view Ahab's life as a cautionary tale about the dangers of disobedience and the importance of exclusive devotion to Jehovah. Modern day application. Loyalty to Jehovah. The account underscores the need for true worshipers to remain loyal to Jehovah. 
avoiding any form of idolatry or compromise. Avoiding bad associations. It highlights the importance of choosing associates who strengthen one's relationship with God. Heeding divine warnings. Ahab's disregard for prophetic counsel serves as a warning to pay attention to God's guidance found in the scriptures. References from JW.org. Bible teachings. Articles and publications on JW.org delve into Ahab's life, providing detailed analysis and lessons for today. Study resources. Publications such as Insight on the Scriptures and the Watchtower offer in-depth information about Ahab's reign and its implications. Educational materials. Videos and interactive content may also be available, illustrating the historical context and spiritual lessons from Ahab's story. Ahab's account serves as a powerful reminder of the consequences of turning away from Jehovah and the blessings that come from obedience. Jehovah's Witnesses